hydrostatic force on a plane inclined submerged surface. Consider a plane surface submerged in a liquid in such a way that its plane makes an angle of theta with the free surface of the liquid as shown in the figure. Hydrostatic force on a plane inclined submerged surface. Consider a plane surface submerged in a liquid in such a way that its plane makes an angle of theta with the free surface of the liquid as shown in the figure. Let dA is equal to elemental area of the surface in meter square. H is equal to distance from the free surface in meters. The pressure acting on the elemental area is given by P is equal to sigma gy sin theta, where y is equal to distance measured from point O on the free surface. Hydrostatic force on a plane inclined submerged surface. The elemental force due to the pressure acting on the elemental area is df is equal to pda is equal to sigma gy sin theta da. The total force of the liquid on the surface is given by f is equal to integration of df which is equal to integration of sigma gy sin theta da is equal to sigma g sin theta integration of y da. Hence, f is equal to sigma g sin theta a y c. Hence, f is equal to sigma g a h c, where a is equal to the area of the whole surface in square meters. Y C is equal to the vertical distance of the centroid of the surface from the X axis in meters. H C is equal to the vertical distance of the centroid of the surface from the free surface of the liquid in meters. Hydrostatic force on a plane inclined submerged surface. Thus, we can say that the total pressure exerted by a static liquid on an inclined plane submerged surface is same as the force exerted on a vertical plane surface. Now, we have the sum of the moments of all the pressure forces acting on the surface about any point must be equal to the moment of the resultant force about the same point. Fyp is equal to PDAY where Yp is equal to the distance of the center of the pressure from the x-axis in meters. Hence, Fy is equal to integration of sigma gy sin theta day which is equal to integration of sigma g sin theta y square da which is equal to sigma g sin theta integration of y square da hence fyp is equal to sigma g sin theta i x x where i x x is equal to the moment of inertia of the inclined surface about an axis passing through the centroid of the surface millimeter raised to 4 hydrostatic force on a plane inclined submerged surface sigma g sin theta a y c y p is equal to sigma g sin theta i x x. 
So, yp is equal to ixx divided by ayc. We know the parallel axis theorem. ixx is equal to igg plus ayc square, where igg is equal to the moment of inertia of the surface about an axis passing through the centroid of the surface in millimeter raised to 4. Yp is equal to Igg plus Ayc square divided by Ayc. Yp is equal to Yc plus Igg divided by Ayc. Hp divided by sine theta equals to Hc divided by sine theta plus Igg divided by A into Hc divided by sine theta, where Hp is equal to Yp sine theta and Hc is equal to Yc sine theta. Therefore, Hp is equal to Hc plus Igg divided by Ahc sine square theta. Thus, from the above equation, we can say that the location of the center of pressure for an inclined plane submerged surface depends on the inclination angle.